hottest power conference teams in America. Meeting for the second time this year in Florida State at home. Controls the ball first. It's been a long time since this place has been this juiced up, mm -hmm. and there was tailgating in a parking lot this morning. They so they're ready. The atmosphere at the tuck, and they're not going to like that as Watkins throws it away, looking for Jalen Worley on the bounce. North Carolina has an early possession. It's, Florida State will throw on its early trademark pressure. Kevin, it's full court pressure. It is switch to steal. It is up the line. It is overplaying. North Carolina's got a really good pressure package, though. They can dribble entry. They can high post entry. Or they can do this right here. Get the paint with two feet and make a play. Harrison Ingram, Elliott Cadeau, part of the UNC starting five. And Ingram tied up by Watkins. Also saw the Notre Dame transfer Cormac Ryan. And, of course, Armando Baycott. ACC preseason player of the year, wearing five in Carolina blue, the usual starting five for Hubert Davis's Tar Heels. Florida State typically makes teams play off the bounce. You're not going to be able to play off the pass against them. You're going to have to be able to get in the paint and then go swing, swing, or kick, kick to make open shots. Florida State, the fourth most efficient defense in the ACC. Carolina, the second most efficient offense. Here's the freshman Cadeau. His floater is tipped by Baycott. Back to Cadeau. Cormac Ryan misses a three. And Baba Miller clears it at 6-11. Up the floor for the Florida State Seminoles. Jameer Watkins, part of that starting five, swatted by Baycott. Darren Green, Jr., Deontay Green, 6'7 point guard Worley, and a 6'11 sophomore Miller. The tallest team in the nation, Florida State by average height, and, and they will go about 12 deep today. And then Leonard Hamilton will say it's the smallest team he's had. That's he's right. got three seven-footers coming in next year. Here's Cadeau, aggressive early. The freshman from West Orange, New Jersey, has the game's first bucket. 7.3 point per game score. Cadeau, the Tar Heels leading assist man. A great compliment to Davis at the guard spot. Watkins floaters hoisted in by Baycott. A 999th defensive rebound of Armando Baycott's career. Well over a thousand total. Davis, Ryan, extra pass to Doe. Missed a three. Ingram's got the offensive rebound. Lines it right back into Baycott, who had it lost. Knocked away, and Watkins has the Florida State takeaway. And Miller just ran right over Cormac Ryan. An offensive foul. Called by Randy Steins, who's with Lee Cassell and Matt Potter, today's officiating crew. Leonard Hamilton, 25 top 10 wins as an unranked team. The most wins over unranked teams, the most wins over ranked teams as an unranked team, period, in NCAA history, 57. 75 years old, Debbie, and his team the last month or so has really turned it around. Well, they've gotten healthy. Primo Spears and Cameron Corian are two players that did not play in the first matchup against North Carolina. And Primo Spears is a one-man press breaker should the heels look to press like they did in this first matchup. Cadeau on the drive is fouled on the way up. And Elliott Cadeau initiating a lot of the offense early. Jalen Worley with a foul. Saw Leonard Hamilton a moment ago, who for one season was the coach of the Washington Wizards, where... For 15 games, he got to coach Hubert Davis, who was traded from the Mavericks to the Wizards in the middle of the 0001 year. So Leonard Hamilton's former player briefly at Washington, meeting his old coach and trying to sweep him in the regular season this year. It's interesting how Elliot Cadeau has been so aggressive to start the game because he would be the fifth option on the floor offensively. He's mostly a pass first, score second point guard. And for him to take an early three, that's not his game. He hasn't made one since, well, not in the calendar year. He hasn't made one since December 29th. He's coming off his second highest scoring game of the year, though 14 against Wake Forest, and he has the first four for North Carolina. And Darren Green Jr., terrific three-point shooter being marked right now by R.J. Davis. Know where 22 is at all times if they're playing their assignments right. And they know where 11 is right now. Bob, Bob Miller for the first Florida State bucket. Miller coming off a double figure scoring game with 12 points, and he's starting to come on for Leonard Hamilton. And the press forces a timeout. Two minutes and 38 seconds into the game. It's a quick one. We'll be right back to Tallahassee.
We all need fiber for our digestive health, but less than 10% of us get enough each day. Good thing Metamucil gummies are an easy way to get prebiotic plant-based fiber with the same amount of fiber as two cups of broccoli. Metamucil gummies, the easy way to get your daily fiber. With Car Gurus, you can buy or sell your car, in person or online. If only you could do things your way all the time. Wouldn't that be nice? Get it with Gurus. Bubba Miller, Kevin, has really stepped up his game at 6'11", the sophomore is starting to get it in Leonard Hamilton's system. He's very good at switching defensively, but he also has made 16 triples coming into the game, and he shoots it very confidently, and watching him in practice yesterday, he's really good shooting a three, getting to the paint. He's not a good free throw shooter. That's something to keep, your mind, uh, keep in mind as the game wears on. Sophomore was one of the most improved players in the ACC this year. After a season where he dealt with injuries, he was suspended by the NCAA 16 games because the cost of travel from Spain to the U.S. for a training camp was paid for him. R.J. Davis, the leading scorer in the ACC at 21 per game, has his first three for Carolina. It's a great job by Cadeau to get into the paint and spray it to the corner. Here's Watkins, Florida State's leading scorer, rebounder, assister, looking for an assist here. Deontay Green couldn't finish. We get a whistle by Matt Potter on the way down the floor. He's pointing at something on the floor, a piece of debris. Nice job of kicking after you get in the paint. It's a great feed, and that's the pass-first mentality of Elliott Cadeau. It's a smaller backcourt for North Carolina, but they do not turn the ball over. R.J. Davis without Caleb Love this season, shouldering a heavier burden to the offense in terms of scoring. 42% from three, 94% from the line. One of the best free throw shooting seasons at the moment in the history of the ACC. Only J.J. Redick had a better free throw shooting season to this point. There's a three for Harrison Ingram, who can really step out and stroke at the Stanford transfer. Playing the fourth position, he can really stretch it around Baycott. This guy can shoot too, Darren Green Jr. 348th three-pointer of his career. That's the one guy you cannot lose if you're North Carolina on the perimeter. Ingram again with back-to-back -back triples and three three-pointers made in the game in about 25 seconds. Yeah, I see the game through an offensive lens. North Carolina, because they have been so good at scoring, has allowed them to set their defense. They do a really good job at icing on the ball screens on the side and then they've been switching the middle. That's usually the way they've started the game. They're not switching one through five right now. Here's Green, another three-pointer over Baycott, around and out. The putback is there for Deontay Green, the 6'9 sophomore. That is a real rarity, a second-chance basket against North Carolina, which allows the fewest second-chance points per game in the nation. Keep in mind, that's a big part of what Florida State does to score, though. They crash, and they don't lose anything with their team speed and getting back in transition because they press full court. So Davis. they're picking up early. Davis got the switch to Baba Miller and a step-back triple in his face. UNC four for six. They've hit four straight threes. Makes the defense wrong every time. Such a high IQ and reads the game so well. Offensive foul against Jalen Worley is his second. We go to break with Carolina shooting the lights out here in Tally. The kick from the inside out. That's how North Carolina has set up their three-point shooting. And then Davis on the switch. Creates separation off the bounce. And drills it over the 6'11", Baba Miller. You've got too much on your plate to worry about what to put on it next. That's where we come in. We're Factor your one-stop shop for fresh, fully prepared meals, packed with premium ingredients, and ready to heat and eat in two minutes flat. Did we mention delivered right to your door? Yeah, we got that covered too. Looks like eating well just got a whole lot easier. Visit factormeals.com slash ready50 and use code READY50 to claim this New Year's offer. Rise up this morning. Shopping, working, and relaxing online can attract various digital threats. To improve your protection against them, 
Just turn on NordVPN. This cybersecurity app will block web trackers and malware infected sites. It will also encrypt your internet traffic without losing a smooth connection. Choose the VPN recommended by Forbes Advisor. Get the deal now. NordVPN, cybersecurity built for every day. For gentle, dependable constipation relief, try Seneca. It works differently than other laxatives because it's made from the Senna plant, a natural vegetable laxative ingredient. Gentle, dependable, Seneca. Also available in delicious gummies. When you're the leader in disaster cleanup and restoration, how do you make like it never even happened happen? Whoa! <laughs> yes! By being prepared for anything! Surf Pro, like it never even happened. If you only have a 401k, add a Robinhood IRA on top. Then, boost it by 3%. Roger, that's the most. Robinhood Gold gets you the biggest match of any IRA on the market. Rose Sparks, engineered for the spontaneous. A dual action formula with the active ingredients of Viagra and Cialis. Faster acting and long lasting. Grab the moment. Get $30 off your first order at row.co slash roman. Let's hop into the Wayback Machine. December 2nd, the first meeting between these teams this year. Florida State led by 14 in the second half, and then a lot of this. Turnover after turnover. Carolina put on the press and turned a 14-point deficit with 17.25 to go into a 14-point lead with 4.41 to go. That's a 39-11 run. There is a 22-0 run in there, and UNC won the game 78-70. Florida State was brilliant from three. UNC, though, crushed Florida State at the free throw line. Today, early on, it has been the three-point shot of Carolina. They've hit their last four, and they're off to a great start. And Armando Baycott hasn't got a touch on the block and hasn't shot, had a field goal attempt in the game yet. Jalen Withers off the bench for North Carolina. Here's Davis hoisting again. Misses from three there. And the rebound down to Taylor Bull Bowen as Florida State finally uses its immense depth. Cam Corrin, the 6'10 sophomore, is in the game, as well as Primo Spears. The Georgetown transfer on the ball right now. Neither one of those two guys played in the first matchup, and they desperately needed Primo Spears. He's more of a natural point guard for Florida State. Spears trying to set up Corrin. He turns it over, and Davis has the Tar Heel takeaway. Hills have scored on five of the first eight possessions, and Davis Passed up an open layup. Threw it to Withers in traffic, and the ball is grabbed by Corinth. Watkins pushing tempo. And Jameer Watkins fouled before the shot. North Carolina's first foul of the game after six minutes and the second. And it'll go against Jalen Withers. I think North Carolina's going to have to dig a little deeper into their bench early on as well, just because you know there's a wear down effect with the way Florida State plays. Even Adrian Autry, the head coach of Syracuse, after the game, the first thing he said was, they wore us down, our guys retired. Could see up to 12 Seminoles. That is a Leonard Hamilton staple. Goes as deep into his bench as about any coach in the country. Deep in the shot clock, here's Spears. And a big score off the bench. He's got the switch with Baycott. Spears, Baycott's all over him. Spears has to throw it up near the rim. Brilliant defense on the ball by Baycott, who is rewarded for his efforts with a three-point opportunity. The first three steps up the floor are dig, dig, dig by Baycott. When we were talking to Hubert Davis before the game, one of the things that Armando has had to do is dig a little deeper into the film with their switching D, you got a KYP, Kevin. You got to know your personnel on the other side. Bleeding gums are serious, Jamie. Dr. Garcia? Whoa. You're a sign of bacterial infection. Press gum detoxifies antibacterial fluoride works below the gum line to help heal gums and stop bleeding. Press saves the day. Press. Has your advisor created a portfolio based only on your age and risk tolerance? That's simply not good enough. At Creative Planning, our private wealth managers learn about you first. Don't settle for a standard portfolio. Book your free meeting today at creativeplanning.com. 
We come out of break, and here's Armando Baycott. Look at this switch one through five. He's got the point guard, the quickest player on the other team for Florida State. And he keeps them in front and forces a tough shot. Then the sprint to the rim. That's what Armando Baycott can do to change the game, to make winning plays. He didn't have to do all that perimeter defense in the past. Now he's more equipped to do it. He studies film. He knows every personnel on the other team. That's KYP, man. You got to know who you're guarding when you're guarding on the perimeter and you're switching one through five. He admitted, Baycott, that he really didn't have a great year of rehab last year. He had shoulder and ankle issues. He's been laser focused on basketball this year, so he was going to cut down on some of his NIL engagements. His final year in college, or as Hubert Davis calls it, his third final year in college. And he's going to take a seat for Jalen Washington after the three-point play. Kevin, you can look at all the numbers, and obviously it's an incredibly decorated career. One of the greatest in the history of North Carolina basketball. But when you watch him play this year, it's the angles, it's the communication, it's the non-stat stuff, it's the leadership, it's the way he shapes up to the ball, it's how hard he posts to demand a double. All of those things affect the spacing on the floor for his teammates. There's Watkins. Florida State hasn't scored in two and a half minutes. Trimble down the floor. Good find from Washington. And then Trimble slaps the floor after blowing the layup. Bo Bowen from Green. Airmails a three. And Carolina looks to run it again. Davis has options on the wings. Up top for Withers. Stuck by Bo Bowen. And Watkins grabs it for FSU. Back-to-back -back layups at the rim for the Heels. It's a break for the Florida State. They take advantage with a Watkins three. Yeah, that's a big swing if you're Hubert Davis. That's four you didn't get and three they got in transition. Davis pickpocketed by Primo Spears. It's a three on none and Spears will lay it in. And then the pressure starts and Hubert Davis has to wave his Tar Heels back. And teams are just not used to this kind of relentless 40-minute pressure that Florida State provides. It's a switch with high hands. It's a switch to steal. They communicate on the weak side. And you force tough twos. Watkins off the Withers miss. Here's Darren Green Jr. Withers able to recollect his position and Spears will reset. Florida State team that's won six of seven. Spears has been a big part of that. His elbow jumper is cleaned up by Bo Bowen. Seven straight over a minute and two seconds for FSU. Trimble, Washington gets free inside and finishes. Jalen Washington, whose playing time has been slashed of late with a big slam. For the last three games, he's played 15 minutes. He scored a total of four points. He's going to get more playing time today. Carolina 7 for 15 to start. Florida State 6 for 14. Four turnovers for the Knowles, three for the Heels. Watkins again, and it taken away. Good hands by Harrison Ingram. Ingram will go up with a left, and Watkins high points it. Back to Carolina, it's Davis. Washington flying into Watkins, and a foul will be called against Jameer Watkins. We may all need a few moments to catch our collective breath here, because Carolina and Florida State are burning up the floor, and it's Jalen Washington. Just a single point the first time these teams met with a thunderous two in Tallahassee. So I got this app from Experian. It's got everything I need to help my finances. Got my FICO score, raised it instantly. I even found new ways to save. All right here, free and fast. See all you can do with the free Experian app. Download it now. Do you know if you have milk right now? It doesn't matter. Because now you live a life where fresh milk is always on hand. Your door to crisis-free breakfasts. DoorDash. Play. This is not a watch party. Watch party? Who said party? 
as in party party. Let's check the replay. This What Really Happened replay is brought to you by Progressive. One thing no one would challenge, protecting your home and auto with Progressive. My bad. Should I pull forward a touch? Hope he's got Progressive. Get Trolls Band Together Sing Along Edition. Sing and dance along at home. That's pretty fun. Trolls Band Together Sing Along Edition, now on digital and Blu-ray. Sargento, we got this cheese. Natural cheese. We got this fruit. He's not what's not too love. We put it all in a snack. Sargento. Balance. Great. Cheese fruit, cheese nuts. Sargento, we're real cheese people. I bought three of the same jacket to get the fourth free. I subscribed to get a deal on these memory supplements, then forgot to cancel. Yeah, well, you know, recognizing a bad deal is a part of the journey. Yes, Eva, would you like to share your breakthrough? I got AT&T's best deal on the new Samsung Galaxy S24 Plus and got to choose my plan. Aww. Yes, we don't make you sign up for the top tier plan to get our best deal. I still haven't gone. I subscribed to get yeah, a deal. Yeah, we know. Get the newest Galaxy on us with any of our best plans, guaranteed. Brave the cold. Grab Kleenex. This week only, large two-topping pizzas at Domino's are just $6.99 each when you carry out, like melty pepperoni and green peppers, or ham and tangy pineapple. The combinations are pretty endless. Act fast and get your favorite large two-topping pizza for just $6.99 each this week only at Domino's. There's one thing that never changes. Georgia. The anticipation. Georgia. Maybe Connecticut. That's about the list of teams playing as well as North Carolina right now. Their longest win streak since the end of 17 into the start of 18. Seven straight ACC wins by double digits. Been over 30 years they did that. Nine straight opponents, 70 points or fewer. Been 17 years since they had that kind of a streak. It's been all about the defense for North Carolina in that streak. Yes, they're scoring it at 83 and a half per game. Yes, R.J. Davis, a brilliant lead guard, but they have changed defensively. They felt like they were embarrassed against Kentucky in December. Gave up 87 points in that game. Gave up 92 to Tennessee. They tweaked some things. Pat Sullivan, who's the director of recruiting, who helps coordinate the defense. Hubert Davis and his terrific staff. Hubert Davis telling us that Armando Baycott came up to him this week and said, this is the first time I've really had fun playing defense. It's been engaging for he and the rest of the Tar Heels. Well, they work at it. Yeah, that's a turnover back to go. That was an easy one for Ball. Jalen Gaining, Cormac Ryan gets back defensively. Here's the thing. I'm not going to call it a softer cover because I don't think it's that. I think it's high hands, good habits. I think they're in the right position. But what they've done is they ice ball screens on the wing, which means you're trying to keep the ball on the same side of the floor, not let them use the screen, okay? And what that does is it loads your defense to the strong side and makes it tougher for them to make a cross-court pass. The other thing is Baycott protects the rim. They've got quickness on the perimeter. Sometimes they switch the shoot. Sometimes Baycott's in drop coverage. They change it up, like right here. Drop coverage, high hands by Baycott. And then you get out to contest, and that's just a good shot by Primo. He can make it. He's a good mid-range shooter. Primo Spears a top two to cut the lead to four. Big cut back on the floor. Jalen Ganey, the grad transfer from Brown, right now is on the ball. And guarding Elliott Cadeau. Gets around Ganey, a screen from Baycott to spring free. And Cadeau will return to the line. What a different mindset when Elliott Cadeau becomes a threat on the top of the floor and not just a pass first. I mean, he's, we know that's his game. Let me tell you this, he's, he's been solid for a freshman point guard in the ACC. The first 10 games, his assist turnover ratio was 2.85. The last nine, it's 2.2. It's excellent to have a freshman in this league be able to manage all the different defensive looks that he gets and not turn it over. It's a great day of college basketball on ESPN. Every Saturday from here on out, it's a great day of college basketball. But some heavyweight fights here in the ACC where Clemson visits number 12 Duke. P.J. Hall, Kyle Filipowski go head-to-head. -head. 
Sonic Blockbuster game day was at Bud Walton earlier. It'll be raucous as Arkansas tries to right its season against Kentucky. And then LSU Alabama after that. All right here on ESPN or the ESPN app. Clemson's got a tough one there in Cameron. Last time Duke was there, they lost to Pitt. Clemson's only won four times in Durham, so it's not an easy task for Brad Brownell, but that's the other team right now. Clemson, Duke, North Carolina that Joe Lenardi has in the NCAA tournament right now, and I think there's a couple more that are going to be there. Florida State's got something to say about it right here today. This is a quad one opportunity for them. Yeah, the rest of the league, it seems like, is collectively on the bubble right now in the ACC. Carolina will be a one seed, certainly. Duke and Clemson. Look like they'll be tournament teams as well. Gainey smashes down for two. Here's what I don't understand about the narrative in the ACC. When North Carolina was down, everybody thought the league was down. Well, North Carolina's up, and they're a one seed right now. Duke is up. Okay, why are, is everyone not talking about the rest of the league? Like, there's some really good teams in the ACC, and there's some good quad one opportunities left on everyone's resume. Feels like there are about eight teams that could have a hot two-week stretch and all of a sudden be in the field. Ingram tied up. Jump ball possession arrow the way of Florida State. Chandler Jackson was hit on that play. The 6'5 sophomore from Memphis. Ingram sets up his ability off the bounce because he's made a couple of triples. And look at the way Florida State converges to the basketball. If you're going to dribble into the paint, Kevin, you better make a strong play because there's going to be multiple bodies and hands in there. R.J. Davis returns after a brief break for North Carolina, which is not trailed in this game. Josh Nickelberry on the floor for the first time for Florida State, wearing number 20. There's the ice by R.J. Davis, keeping the ball on the same side of the floor. And on the other side, though, Florida State's got to reverse it against North Carolina's defense. Jackson got it to Spears, not a good three-point shooter, and Miller with a long arms tapped it to Davis. Going one against three here. Davis had it taken off, maybe the backboard. No goaltending call. Ryan dribbles it out to Cadeau. Back in for Baycott, who scores it. Great hustle play by Cormac Ryan, a little pond skipper to the top of the key, and Baycott with a finish. When Baycott gets his shoulders square to the backboard, forget about it. You're not going to stop him from scoring. Five points, two for two for Baycott. Ingram guards the ball right now. The post move for the sophomore Miller. Couldn't convert. Ingram's got his sixth rebound of the game, and he can take it down the floor, too. Nickelberry tried to draw the charge, no call. Davis passes up the three. Baycott couldn't catch. Davis on the cut. Davis on the floater. It's beautiful. He's got the best float game in the ACC. There's nobody that has a better one than R.J. Davis. How about, the, how about the country? When you're a smaller guard, you have to know how to make plays off a of right foot, left foot, right foot, wrong foot. You have to know how to get the ball to the rim over taller defenders. Here in the ACC at 21 per game. He's well on pace to do that. Here's a three for Jackson. He sticks it. Just his eighth of the season, Chandler Jackson. Just really good ball movement by Florida State. Boy, this game's picking up. Cadeau will get back to the line. Jackson after the three in the middle of it all. Florida State's hit four threes. North Carolina's hit four threes. Not two teams that are necessarily known for their three-point shot. I mean, R.J. Davis. Such a good basket cut and a scoring cut with the float game. And then attacking the switch. Jackson ready to fire. Places jacked up in here. This is fun. Where'd you want to serve? Oh, I didn't serve. But if your spouse, parent, or grandparent served in the military, you can join USAA. Yeah, my grandpa did. So I'm already in. But I was talking about your serve. Oh. USAA for the military community. When you share a hotel room with your kid, you also share a bedtime with your kid. But if you get an Airbnb, you get to pick your own bed. I'm Jane. I'm John. Work, life. 
money, romance. They're all part of the same project. Babe? I never lonely with him alone. Who could be lonely? I was expecting something different. Like what? Blazers. Like pew, pew, pew. I work hard and I want my money to work hard too. So I use my Freedom Unlimited card. Earning on my favorite soup. Ah, got it. Earn big with Chase Freedom Unlimited. How do you cash back? Chase, make more of what's yours. I'm here courtside. Watch this. You have got to watch this replay, folks. Watch this, watch this. The all-new Pizza Hut $7 Deal Lovers menu. Choose your $7 faves seven days a week. Today is day one. I'm quitting the vape. Withdrawals are kind of insane. Texting, this is quitting. I woke up a little less irritated. Instead of vaping, we're living a healthy lifestyle. <laughs> no, Nick. <laughs> Text join Tyler to 88709. Help your family warm up to mornings. File 100% free with TurboTax Free Edition. Roughly 37% of taxpayers qualify. Form 1040 and limited credits only. See how at TurboTax.com. That's me! Humdrum Mint. Fancy shape. Cooling and fruity flavor? Fancier! Too fancy. Perfect amount of fancy. Icebreakers. Ooh, fancy. Jay Billis saying on game day this morning, it always delivers. Duke and Carolina, it will deliver next Saturday. Game day will be there for the 261st overall meeting. Way back in 1920, Duke took both last year, of course, the famous Final Four game a couple of years ago in Hubert Davis's first year. One of the great listens in college basketball is Dan and Jay on Duke, Carolina. It doesn't get much better than that. The right voices, the right teams, the right colors. It just feels like college basketball. So we can't wait to hear those guys and watch the first two meetings between those teams in Chapel Hill. Heels will see if they can remain unbeaten in the league into that. After two free throws by Cadeau, Watkins has it knocked out of bounds. So North Carolina will situational press off of some dead ball situations or free throws. And that's our first look at Primo Spears trying to attack that press. And there were numbers on the backside. Good hustle by Carolina to get that tap and set their D. Deontay Green with a tough left-hander. Seventh rebound for Harrison Ingram, who's a leading rebounder in the ACC in conference games. He's hit two threes already. He does not have a third. Spears will push it after the rebound. Only Florida State player with multiple field goals in the game, Primo Spears. Eight different Seminoles have scored. 11 different players have played. Watkins with a strong post. Watkins is fouled and finishes. And right through the contact of Cano. You run your offense to get the switch, and then you clear it out. Good coaching decision by Leonard Hamilton to put the ball in Watkins' hands, coming off that career-high 27 in the last game against Syracuse. Too much size and physicality in the paint. This is what he does, Watkins. He's taken 35 free throw attempts the last five games. He's made 29. That's an average of six of seven per game, and he hits his first of the afternoon. Davis back on the floor for North Carolina with Ryan, Cadeau, Baycott, and Ingram, the starting five. And North Carolina has already built in two point guards in the starting lineup, so they usually don't have any trouble in the backcourt against pressure. You got multiple ball handlers to bring it up. Baycott with a deep post of Green, who tries to draw the offensive foul, and then Baycott turns it over, and then Cadeau commits his second foul in a matter of 
just about 21 seconds. So Seth Trimble, another point guard, will replace him. Good collapse on the post on Baycott, forcing him to become a passer. That's what you want to do. You don't want him to catch it that deep and score. You want to push him up the lane. If you can bring two, bring two and make him a passer. Spears, Watkins, Miller, Green, and Green Jr. for starters along with Primo Spears for Florida State. Here's Miller, a tripped up with Ingram. That'll be the fifth North Carolina foul. Harrison Ingram's first. So Florida State team Debbie that was picked 11th in the ACC. They were 9 and 23 a season ago. And early on in the season looked like they might be no better than 11. But they've gotten healthy. They've gotten Primo Spears back. He was a two-time transfer. Had his waiver eligible. They're 12 deep and they're playing some of the best basketball of anybody in the league. As Miller misfires from three at Baycott. Loses the rebound. It will stay with Florida State. At the beginning of the year, you wouldn't have thought Florida State was anywhere near the top of the ACC. Nothing close to the NCAA tournament conversation. They moved up 31 places in the BPI, ESPN's basketball power index since then. They're still not quite on the bubble because they have three quad three losses. But they're five and four in quads one and two. So you get a win today. It's going to do wonders for their metrics. It's going to be a huge win against one of the best teams in the country. And then we have to start seriously talking about Florida State as an NCAA tournament team. I, I think team. so. I mean, they're non-conference, you're right. There are a couple bad losses on their resume. But their win over Colorado is going to get better. Colorado is a very good basketball team. I was in a Pac-12 all weekend last weekend. There's some good teams out there. Right now, Joe Lenardi has three Pac-12 teams with Colorado on the bubble. And I think they're going to make it. Some of the non-conference losses, Lipscomb, a home loss, really hurts him. They had a 17-point lead here against Georgia with 6.48 to go. They blew that game. Had a win probability of 99.3% in that game, according to Ken Palm and Law. So there are a couple of big missed opportunities, but in the new year, they look like an NCAA tournament team. Now they need to build an NCAA tournament resume. Trimble with trouble. Five-second violation, and the Florida State pressure forces the seventh UNC turnover. Six eleven on the ball. Look at the wingspan of Baba Miller. Trimble tried to get a timeout. And then a takeaway on the other end for Carolina. Trimble is fouled by Miller. Baba Miller with his second foul. Florida State foul number 11, Baba Miller is second. Seth Trimble was a huge part of that comeback win over Florida State in December. 64% free throw shooter. It's the first. Two of the top teams in the SEC square off tomorrow, a Sunday women's college basketball matinee. It's Tennessee and Ole Miss from the Pavilion in Oxford. Three Eastern, two Central here on ESPN. Lady Ball is only behind undefeated South Carolina right now. Five and one in the SEC. There's clearly two top teams in that league in South Carolina and LSU. Did you see the rating for game day in Baton Rouge on Thursday night? My Monsters. goodness. Spears, strong drive, gets the underside of the rim. Eighth rebound already for Harrison Ingram. Carolina is plus four on the boards. Trimble right into the paint, out for Cormac Ryan. Too deep from three. Baycott having his jersey held right there by Deontay Green. He wanted a foul, and now Baycott and Green with an exchange of words and a little head shake from Deontay Green trying to fire up this guarded and gold crowd. Emotions on display from the sophomore Deontay Green, who, oh, by the way, is from the state of North Asheville. Carolina. Asheville, North Carolina. Home of Roy Williams. I mean, 
there's clearly a, a, a whole jersey being held right there. Baycott didn't like it, and Watkins stepped in between. A lot of chatter. Good job by the officials to break it up. And a good job by Leonard Hamilton. Watkins on a spin. Slow down a little bit here. Zayden Pye with a rebound, his first action. Paxson Wojcik's on the floor for the first time as UNC goes very deep in a bunch. I mean, they're watching that matchup yeah. over there, Green. There's no question that's going to be a foul. He's draped all around him. The, I mean, I'm watching that matchup. First trip down the floor. You don't think the officials are watching it? <laughs> that was an obvious foul by Deontay Green, and he's still running his mouth. How about the majority of Baycott, though, right? Not picking up a cheap one here, right? Mondo prefer to let his game do the talking, as he often does. One and one here for a vastly improved free throw shooter. Misses it, though. 80% on the year. Darren Green's got the rebound. Green with a hard drive off the long foot, scores it. There is a little juice in this building right now. More than a little. Florida State, which has not led within one. In the big cut, knocked away by Green, who saves it in front of his own bench. Here comes a three. Knowles looking for their first lead. Spears will give it to him. And then Davis answers. What a response. The last time down, I knew Florida State had the three, Kevin, because of the way they sunk to the paint defensively. And if it wasn't going to be Darren Green, he passed up a three to give Primo Spears an opportunity. And then R.J. Davis making the defense roll. There's Spears backing out. Nine to shoot it. Spears. Watkins. High has the hands down. Watkins into the body of Hyde. And a little bobble there. It'll be a travel and a Florida State turnover. Carolina led this game by 11, 19 to 8. It's been 23-12 FSU since a little Florida State fire on a Saturday. Tax Act understands you don't exactly look forward to filing taxes. Tax Act doesn't even look forward to taxes, and Tax Act is a tax company. Tax Act, let's get them over with. Someone in this room stole my autographed basketball, signed by the 1948 All-Star Team. So I've called in a specialist, an ease specialist. Okay, let's start with what we do know. Geico makes it easy to bundle coverage for your car and home. Yeah, even precious sports memorabilia. What a relief. Let's get back to charades. But I was also going to crack the case. Well, I'm pretty sure it's true. Me? It's easy to bundle your home and car. It's easy to Geico. It was the one restaurant that we could afford on like our $3 per diem. The client moved the meeting. To today. It's a meeting. A big meeting. And we've got no time to spare. We should probably have a meeting about having a meeting to make sure we're all prepared. Or we could just huddle in Slack. We need seven new assistants to go through six weeks of comms. Or Slack and summarize it. Like this. I need these and those and them and that. And I need, I need Slack. Searching for your ideal hotel? Well, Trivago does all the work for you and instantly compares prices from hundreds of booking sites. Compare prices for the same hotel, save up to $30 a night. Hotel, Trivago. If you love to travel, Capital One has a rewards credit card that's perfect for you. With Venture X, earn unlimited double miles on everything you buy and turn everyday purchases into extraordinary trips. And get access to over 1,300 airport lounges where you just check in and chill out. Open up a world of possibilities with Capital One. What's in your world? 
the Jeep Halftime Report. Reese Davis, Seth Greenberg, and Jay Williams live from Fayetteville, Arkansas. A heavyweight bout in the Big 12, Kansas and Iowa State. And uh, not the softest landings in terms of homecomings for Ed Cooley today, who is back with Georgetown in Providence. If you've seen some of the scenes from there, whoa, has it been heated at the dunk where the Friars lead Ed Cooley's Hoyas by six late. You mean they're upset that he left? <laughs> I mean, somebody <laughs> blew up his house listing and put oh it on boy. a poster in the crowd. Wow. Hey, how about this game? Carolina leads by 11 early, but Florida State 11 points off turnovers, getting the balance that we so often see. Well, Florida State leads the ACC in steals at better than nine a game, and they're a plus three and a half turnover margin. So you have to, if you're North Carolina, neutralize some of that by not turning it over and staying on the offensive glass. Paxson Wojcik gets a timeout. Wow. Nothing, Carolina's burned two of those. Nothing's going to burn Hubert Davis more than not getting open. You got to get open. I don't blame him. Cut. Cut hard. Move without the ball. I don't blame him. I'd give it to him, too. And then on the other side, Florida State. How about that? Forcing two timeouts, right? That's big because that gives them some mojo, right? That's momentum for Florida State. If there are any of you that are professional lip readers, I'd love to know what happened in the last 15 <laughs> We're seconds. We're not gonna repeat it. <laughs> I'm not sure it's all PG, but boy, Hubert's fired up, because that's not only two timeouts, Burr. Remember, there was a five-second call earlier in the half as well. Third year for Hubert Davis in North Carolina. Leonard Hamilton, 22nd at Florida State. Former player and coach together for the last couple of months of the Washington Wizards season, 2000-2001. The other thing is that when that ball goes into the corner or when it gets inbounded, Florida State's not looking to trap, okay? So they fall back to set their D. So all you have to do is get the ball inbounds, especially when you have two point guards on the floor. Well, Zayden High stepped out, so after all of that, Carolina turns it over anyway. That's nine in the first half for UNC. It's their most versus an ACC opponent in a half this year. Another three for Florida State. This one is from Watkins, and the Seminoles are six for 11 from deep. Now after a made bucket, Paxson Roja can run the baseline. Davis dribbles it off his foot. His third turnover. Carolina's 10th. Primo Spears in the game has had an impact. Watch here, he gets in the gap and High just over helps. You didn't need to, to get that far to help. You should have stayed on the shooter. North Carolina on pace for the best three-point defense in school history. They've given up seven in the first half. Spears has his second, and the Seminoles lead by six. This is uncharacteristic for FSU. And Darren Green has only made one, Amazing. their best three-point shooter. Trimble trying to take control. He gets fouled on the drive. Primo Spears, four for eight. Two for three outside the three-point line. He's got a couple of assists to go with it. It is 13 minutes. He, remember, he did not play the first time these two teams met in Chapel Hill in December. I mean, North Carolina's three-point defense isn't good. It's, it's great. It's possibly historic. <laughs> yes. Their best three-point defense ever, oh. 2015, 30%. Sorry, Kevin, it, it's supposed to be good. Right. And, and Florida State has neutralized that some because of their downhill driving ability, taking advantage of their speed and quickness and their length. Their length isn't just on the defensive end, they're on the offensive end. They can get in the gap and make plays over the smaller guards for North Carolina. Seth Trimble makes a couple of free throws. UNC's three-point defense, 29% on the year, 23% in the ACC. Florida State, though, hit 12 out of 28 in the first matchup. It's 7 for 12 in the first half today. They lead by four at home. Watkins over dribbling. That's the second time that Ingram has picked somebody clean on the top of the floor. Ingram, he loses it. He dribbles it out of bounds. North Carolina turns it over again. 
Hubert Davis trying to measure his emotions on the sideline. It's an old basketball cliche about not playing too fast versus being in a hurry, right? Don't be in a hurry. Don't get caught up playing too fast. There's a difference here. Right now, they are all sped up by, North Carolina, by Florida State's defense. A few moments ago, we told you Carolina had a season-high turnovers and a half in an ACC game. They now have a season-high turnovers and a half period. They had 11 against Kentucky earlier this year in the first half. They have 11 in the first half here at Florida State. Primo Spears leading the way with 10. Primo Spears missing the jumper. Bo Bowen has the offensive rebound. It was kept alive by Corin, And a few second chance buckets now for Florida State. Leonard Hamilton has run that little elbow screen a couple of times and the Florida State jump shooters know that it's, they're not leveling off the screen at that point for North Carolina. So that's an open jump shot for them. Ingram snatched the miss from Davis. It's still alive. It's Baycott throwing on the run. Paxson Wojcik is in there and Wojcik of all people finishes. What a tough two by Paxson Wojcik. He's getting some quality minutes here in the first half for North Carolina. Usurps his season average with a single basket. Eight offensive rebounds for Carolina in the first half. Jackson spinning around Wojcik. Jackson kept that dribble going. That's pretty good D. That's just a better jump shot. Those are six for their last seven. Tying their game high lead of six points. Ryan. Kinds of contact there. Florida State bench wanted to tie up and won't get it. Cormac Ryan, a brilliant free throw shooter, will get two. Second foul on Chandler Jackson for Florida State. Well, what a turnaround this has been. Leonard Hamilton's Knowles down 11 early. Up six in the final, 49 and a half of the half. Later tonight, Rivals Week rolls on in the NBA. 5.30 Eastern on ABC. The last three MVP trophies have gone to Nikola Jokic or Joel Embiid. They're the two favorites for this year's. They'll face off with the Nuggets and Sixers, then LeBron's Lakers and Steph's Warriors at 8.30 Eastern. NBA basketball on ABC. Oh, a miss for Mac Ryan who was 47 of 51 before that free throw miss. 92% on the year going into those shots. If you go quick, there's a two for one opportunity here for Florida State. And Nickelberry stumbled, so they don't get it. Spears will try to make it a good one. Nickelberry a pull up. It's probably not the right option. North Carolina can hold it for the last shot here. Hills led this game 19 to 8. They really haven't played through Baycott in the first half. That's going to change in the second. Going to take three shots. Baycott the screener on green. Look at the drive by Davis. Left to right. Couldn't finish. And it's North Carolina ball with two and a half to shoot. RJ Davis with 10 points. Four for nine and a half, but three turnovers. Taylor Bobo and will replace Jameer Watkins for the final defensive possession. Josh Nickelberry looking like he was headed out of the game. He'll stay in with two and a half to go. Time for two dribbles. Oh, Ingram couldn't catch it. Nickelberry's hoist. It was off target. What is it? Scoring off its bench, 21 to 7 bench points, 19 to 3 edge off turnovers. Most turnovers and a half for UNC with 12. How do they get back in this game to start the half? Well, I think they got to play through Armando Baycott. That's one thing. I mean, he only had three field goal attempts in the first half. And there have been games where he has not had a lot of free throw attempts. He's had five times this season he's had single digit free throw attempts. He's got and single digit points. He's got to be a factor here in the second half on the road. You've got to play through him. 
Took the possession live off the Cormac Ryan miss. R.J. Davis with 10 to lead UNC, but three turnovers for the ACC's leading scorer. Florida State led by Watkins and Spears, each with 10. Here's Cadeau starting the second half, much the way he started the first, and Elliott Cadeau has nine. Starting five for Florida State, Baba Miller, Darren Green Jr., Deontay Green, Jameer Watkins, Jalen Worley. Eight different players scored, 11 different Seminoles played in the first half. Green, pull up two. You wanted to see him get going, and right on cue. Well, I love the twist and then the retwist by Deontay Green to free up Darren Green Jr. Good two-man game on the naked side. Seven points for the second-year Seminole transfer from UCF. Cadeau against Deontay Green. And Green knocks it away from him. Another turnover, the 13th. Watkins out for three for Green! Too good. Largest lead for Florida State. Green into double figures in a flash. Ingram will try to back him down. Back for Ryan. And finally, Ryan hits from deep. He was 0 for 3 to start. They need him to get going this season, Ryan. The Notre Dame transfer. 29% shooter this year from deep. Watkins, a 10-point first half. Then turn it over four times. Worley over Davis. Maybe Cadeau. Big height advantage and a big two for the Noles point guard. Now here's Davis pulling up over Green. I mean, it's a one-man so fast break. He is absolutely terrific. According to Dickie V, he's the best scoring guard in the country. And I agree with him. Watkins. That one too deep from three, and Miller went over the back of Ingram and knew it. That's the third foul on Baba Miller. I mean, watch this in the open floor. R.J. Davis, he's coming at you, and all you can do is backpedal and force a tough two. He gets to the elbow and he sticks it. 27 against Florida State in the first game. Remember, Carolina was down 14 in the second half in that game and came back to win by eight. So down eight in the second half here. Well, that's nothing for the heels. This is the first time, though, that they've trailed by more than seven points in their last ten games. Boy, there's really fight, fighting to get to the point of screen. And the contact is picked up. The level of physicality has risen a notch here. Second foul, Darren Green, Jr. It's a non-shooting foul. Florida State does struggle with fouls. A foul at one of the most frequent rates in the country. Carolina's been on the line a lot today. Ryan, a catch and shoot. His second three of the half. Cormac Ryan. It's a simple roll and replace. However, the roll is Baycott with a guard on him, and so you lean towards helping a little bit, and that gives more separation to Ryan. Tough catch by Green. Ingram's got another rebound. Davis, one-man turbo charge. Floats it home, and Carolina's got eight straight. R.J. Davis ain't messing around. <laughs> 14 for make it seven in a row for UNC to tie the score. Watkins with a green screen. Old Bowen in the game after that third Miller foul. Another screen by Green. Watkins taking on two Tar Heels. A foul against Cormac Ryan is his first. Watkins knows they're icing, so he's trying to snake behind it to get open. This a roll hard to the rim by Baycott, and he creates that opportunity for Cormac Ryan because you got to help a little bit and help tag on that roll, and then Davis will not be denied at the rim. through the elevator door screens, and Cormac Ryan is right there on his hip. And Worley floats it over Cadeau. A couple of times he's taken advantage of the six-inch size advantage there. And Cadeau is fouled. 
Carolina very aggressive off of makes here. That's the third foul on Jalen Worley. Well, if you play downhill and you push and you look for early opportunities in offense, there's no time for Florida State to get organized and to switch and do all the things they like to do defensively. It's a really good job of picking up the tempo by North Carolina with their offense here in the second half. Davis three. Baycott in between a couple of Seminoles kept it alive for Ingram. And Ingram finds an outlet with Cadeau. Ingram off the shot fake as Bull Bowen hooked around him elbow to elbow. That's four fouls and not yet four minutes and a half for Florida State. That could be a major factor down the stretch. UNC is a very good free throw shooting team. Well, these two teams get to the line more than anyone in the ACC. North Carolina leading that category. Florida State is second, and there's a discrepancy at the line right now. The heels 10 for 14. Florida State's only made two trips there. Florida State's got Primo Spears back in the game. He's a team best plus 13 in the first half. In there for Worley. Ingram shot ready. Ingram rattles home his third three, and North Carolina is back on top. The other thing is... North Carolina is keeping the ball in the middle third in their quarter court offense, and that's allowing them to run some different screening action that, that we did not see in the first half. Six assists for Cadeau, too, who's been very alert to all of that off ball movement. There's Green. That's a two, and that is a stroke of beauty. Davis again. I mean, just look at him go. There are no numbers, nothing resembling numbers. And he pulls Watkins into trouble for the fifth Florida State foul of the half. Heels are back within one here in Florida. Double the storage on us when you pre-order now. Okay, when you turn around, you're gonna see some more. You have a turkey and cheese. Let's imagine that LL Cool J has a bubble around him. Do we want to be Hey, inside? I'm Keith. Uh, there are some situations that young homeowners turning into their parents just can't handle. Yeah, there he is. There's my nephew. Very now, I got a video of him uh, playing piano. That's not how you take a selfie. Progressive can't save you from becoming your parents, but we can save you money when you bundle home and auto with us. Three, two, one. We don't need a countdown. Just take the picture. Brave the cold. Grab Kleenex. Your Universal Orlando vacation is going to be an unforgettable time of heroic, villainous, magical, adrenaline-pumping madness. This place is a rite of passage. It's where you lose your mind, your voice, and your inhibitions. It's time to go wild. And now, go wild for this insane offer. Visit UniversalOrlando.com. Restrictions apply. How you boys doing? Feeling good. I feel like this could be a big one. Okay, boys, here we go. Watch it, Dad. Pump away. Cheese, crackers, cheese, crackers. Sargento. Yum, 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 yum. Perfectly sized. Cheese and Ritz. Cheese and Triscuit. Cheese and Wheat Thins. Cheese, 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 cheese. Real natural cheese. Now with your favorite crackers. Sargento. We're real cheese people. One of the great Tar Heels in history, Eric Matras, lost his battle with cancer last December at the age of 52. And the folks here at Florida State are some of the classiest people in the league. They left flowers at what would have been his seat today. Beloved color commentator of the Tar Heels men's basketball broadcasts. Forever friend, the great Eric Montross, an NCAA champion with the Heels in 1993. 
North Carolina playing this season in his memory. This Tar Heel team with him won a trail by five and a half, as many as eight here in the second. They led by as many as 11 in the first half. Hubert Davis's team has won nine straight games, and they've won every ACC game except for Florida State by double figures. That was a mere eight-point win. Got to come back, go to 9-0 and in league play, which they've not done since 2001 to start in the ACC. Warmack Ryan with seven points for Carolina. All five starters between five and 14 with Davis leading the way with those 14 points. Cadeau has been a great distributor and scorer today, and Elliot Cadeau will return to the free throw line. A chance at a three-point play. Taylor Bull Bowen has been on this matchup with Cadeau a couple of times, and he just can't keep him in front. He's too quick. Elliot Cadeau with 11 points and six assists. They get 12 and six. His season averages are 7.3 and 3.5. Closing in on a season high, and he has North Carolina back in front here at the top. Watkins, that's a shove up high. Cadeau draws an offensive foul. Jameer Watkins third, and Florida State is starting to get into some real foul trouble. Which they usually can absorb because they play so many people, but I think getting Primo Spears back in the game right now by Leonard Hamilton is gonna up the level of uh, intensity on both ends here. He played very well, managed the game, was under control in the first half for Florida State, and helped them build that lead. North Carolina started 11 for 29. They've hit seven of their last eight. Davis has the switch with a big man gaining. Two-time Ivy League defensive player of the year. Brown, Davis, I think he walked got away with a travel there. Yep, he traveled. When you're R.J. Davis, sometimes you get lucky. He's got 16. Green had a big second and a half. That's a tough angle shot. Rebounded by Jalen Withers. Up the floor, Cadeau. He's got the switch with Ganey now. What will Cadeau do with it? Driving into Ganey, got around him, got to the rim and scored. Elliot Cadeau is taking over. I mean, Cadeau and R.J. Davis have decided to put their head down, and they are getting their hips and shoulders past anybody who's guarding them. And once that happens... Smaller guards, yes. Explosive, absolutely. Little shuffle. Gets away with it, one on the road. And then Cadeau, look at this right here. He has been fantastic, aggressive to the rim. He's got seven and a half. Davis has six and a half. 16 of Carolina's 22. And now that Cormac Ryan has gotten hot, you've got a three-point shooter in the corner. When you go right down the lane line, it's really hard to pinch and help. Shot clock was down to five. Leonard Hamilton calls for a timeout with UNC on a roll. Protect your vehicle with Smartliner's custom fit full coverage floor liners. Precisely engineered for a perfect fit. Rigid sidewalls ensure our liners won't curl at the edges. The easy to clean rubberized texture offers an outstanding grip for your vehicle and high sides provide unparalleled spill protection. Backed by a lifetime warranty and expert customer service. Make the smart, affordable choice. Smartliner. When you buy or sell your car exactly how you want with CarGurus, you might begin to wonder, what if you could do things your way all the time? Dream. Some dreams do come true. Get your car your way. Get it with Gurus. 
Single care is amazing. Even though I have insurance, it can't beat the pricing I get on my medication through single care. Before I submit any prescriptions, I always check single care first. Just go to singlecare.com, search for your prescription, and show the coupon to your pharmacist. Millions of people on Medicare just like me use single care every month, and you can too. Visit singlecare.com and start saving today. At Consumer Cellular, you get the same exact coverage as the largest carriers for up to half the price. That's amazing. And great customer service based here in America. That's amazing. And no hidden fees, no contracts, and free activation. That's amazing. Hello? Barbara? Sorry, I was muted. That's amazing. I know, right? Yeah. Can you see that? What's that thing over there? That's Little Robot. It eats my cat's food. A robot? Yeah, Little Robot. So my mom doesn't have to scoop. After my cat uses it, Little Robot eats the crumbs. Get a robot to eat your cat's poop at LittleRobot.com. Life doesn't stop for a cold. <laughs> Honey. Day Cool Severe Honey. Powerful cold and flu symptom relief with a honeylicious taste. Day Cool Honey. The honeylicious daytime coughing, aching, stuffy head fever. Power through your day. Medicine. The competition's never been better. This is just spectacular. The stars have never been brighter. That's our move. Women's College Hoops on ESPN and ABC. Duke Carolina, it always delivers. No greater rivalry in college sports. One week from today on ESPN, Dan Shulman, Jay Billis on the call. Two voices you so deeply associate with that game. For so many years we associated Dick Vitale's voice with that game. Dick is still on total voice rest after recent surgery, but uh, wanted to make sure the folks knew about his Super 16 basketball bash coming up. All you got to do is go to v.org slash super16. Chances are only $100 each for pediatric cancer research, and nobody's done more for that than Dickie V. And the winner and the guest will get surprises that you simply cannot buy. Mm. Dickie V has been texting me during the game. Coach, we're pulling for you on your vocal cord surgery. And good for Bahrain, baby. Not good for college nice. basketball. <laughs> We're ready to have you back. You're thinking about her, which is nice. But, yeah, we can't wait to hear Dickie V back soon. He's texting. He's tweeting. He's always watching. And he's watching a good one here with North Carolina leading by six. 13-31 to go. The Tucker Center in Tallahassee. I mean, since Dickie V can't say it, he wants me to tell everyone that R.J. Davis is an all-Rose Royce P.T. Pier. In the midseason list for Dickie V, so no question about it, RJ's had a heck of a game so far. Got to be making Coach Vital really pleased with the way he's playing. You sound just like him. You I know? wish I sounded like him. <laughs> RJ's got 16 today. Baba Miller for two. And North Carolina with the ball. Davis and Cadeau have torn up the second half. Florida State shooting 63% in the half. And they're being outscored 22 to 11. UNC is 9 for 10 now in the second half. And leading by six. Cadeau got green in the air, drives it again. And Cadeau, who has lived at the line, will get back there for his eighth and ninth attempts of the game. You mentioned it earlier. Cadeau is coming off that 14 point performance against Wake Forest. This first time he's gone back to back in double figures this season. Thank you, Steve Kirshner. And Elliot Cadeau was a big name out of high school. He was number 13 in our ESPN 100. He reclassified, he moved up a year. Simeon Wiltshire was headed to North Carolina. He decided to decommit, go to St. John's under Rick Pitino. Leah Cadeau reclassifies up in the summer. What a lift he's given them. 16 points, a new season high for the Tar Heel freshman. Well, Hubert Davis elects to go with three point guards on the floor right now. And Trimble in there as well with Baycott and Withers. Jumper from Spears is missed. Learned up by Deontay Green. And Green stuffed by Baycott. The foul. And Armando Baycott is going to hang back here with the simmering tension from the first half between these two carrying over. Yeah, 
I don't think it's free throws. I think it was on the floor. There's the push right there. Yeah, ball out of bounds. Good job by the officials. And Hubert Davis going to take him out, settle him down a little bit. But I don't think uh, he looks rattled at all to me. Only his second yeah. foul. And he needs to take a break right here, wait till the next media timeout. Cadeau flying in, slams it in bounds, but apparently Cadeau touched the sideline first. Florida State will keep it. I don't know if he did. Oh, I'm not sure. That's a tough one. You know what? The officials, they'll tell you the plays that are right in front of them, yeah. right under them, are the, the hardest ones to call. Cadeau gets a breather near the under 12 as well. Harrison Ingram returns. Spears, wild drive. Cleaned up by Green. And what do we have here? Deontay Green was grabbed the rim. Now, Matt Potter is going to go over to Lee Cassell and make sure they clean this up. Looked like Green grabbed the rim. They'll get Ramey Steins in as well. Let's see, right here. Yep, right hand. Looks like this play is going to be reviewed at the monitor. All right, Matt Potter just gave you the official word. Yes, it's a Class B technical foul for holding on to the rim. Class B technical foul for that assist against Florida State, number five, Deontay Green. That means anyone can shoot the free throws for North Carolina. And of course, we're going to put R.J. Davis there. Then you'll go back to the uh, point of interruption, which I believe will be, well, I thought it was gonna be North Carolina's ball, but I think you go to the, to the, uh, to the arrow. Well, because the ball is not possessed at the time. Right. Of that is a tough, I know the rule by the way, but that's a tough technical foul yeah. to give on a ball that's just up for grabs. Well, he had an advantage by grabbing the rim. So one free throw because of Class B, and Deontay Green is going to check out of the game. Nine in a row for North Carolina. The snap one was a 52-52 tie. Florida State has not scored it nearly three minutes. And they still have it. Watkins couldn't convert on the oop from Miller. Seminoles will keep it. They get 10 straight after the technical free throw by Davis for UNC. 6-11 inbound with Miller. Watkins on the drive! Whoa! Dunked it so hard it ended up in the backcourt on a bounce. Yeah, well, that's two points at the rim he's missed. Back to back. He'll drive it again. This time he'll hand it off. Coram will finish at the rim and finally, belatedly, Florida State gets a bucket on the possession. One of those deserved to go down for the Seminoles effort. Florida State's got to get a couple of stops in a row right here so they can get this crowd back in it. Because it definitely gave them a lift in the first half. Davis has the switch on Corum. Davis is stripped by Corum. And that was a smart foul because Spears had Green all alone down the floor. North Carolina by seven. A whole lot of chapters left to write in this one. Meet the traveling trio, the thrill seeker, the soul searcher, and ahoy, it's the explorer, each helping to protect their money with Chase. Whoa, a lost card isn't keeping this thrill seeker down. Lost her card, not the vibe. The soul searcher is finding his identity and helping to protect it. Oh yeah, the explorer. She's looking to dive deeper, all while Chase looks out for her. Because these friends have Chase. Alerts that help check, tools that help protect, one bank that puts you in control. Chase, make more of what's yours. 
Where'd you learn to serve? Oh, I didn't serve, but if your spouse, parent, or grandparent served in the military, you can join USAA. Yeah, my grandpa did, so I'm already in, but I was talking about your serve. Oh. USAA, for the military community. This week only, large two-topping pizzas at Domino's are just $6.99 each when you carry out, like melty pepperoni and green peppers, or ham and tangy pineapple. The combinations are pretty endless. Act fast and get your favorite large two-topping pizza for just $6.99 each this week only at Domino's. From Maybelline, New York, Instant Eraser, our do-it-all concealer. Conceal, correct, highlight. Up to 12-hour moisturizing wear. Instant Eraser, Maybelline, New York. Why would I use Kayak to compare hundreds of travel sites at once? I like to do things myself. I can't trust anything else to do the job right. Kayak. Ah! Kayak, search one and done. I know my old spice long-lasting sense anywhere. That's me, Mr. Cole. Oh. Mm. Let's talk about a raise. You never know what the weather will bring. Rain-X water repellency wiper blades apply the magic of Rain-X to your windshield, so water beads up and flies away. The improved water beading technology lasts longer, so you see clearly season after season. Let the weather drive you inside? Never. Rain-X. Outsmart the elements. Find Rain-X water repellency wiper blades at these retailers. The buzzer beater. That moment when time stands still. Our collective breath held as the ball hovers above the rim. But almost a third of those shots were set up by a passer who made the smart choice. Throwing an assist takes trust, IQ, and total confidence in your decision. And the greatest one? My pass to Leitner in 92 wasn't too bad. Continental, the smart choice in tires. True story, with Big Blue Nation rolls in, it's time to dial up the Hawks. Number six, Kentucky. Total domination by Kentucky. It takes on Arkansas. Wow, what a play. Experience number six, Kentucky, Arkansas. Tonight at six on ESPN. A sonic blockbuster tonight at six Eastern here on ESPN. Arkansas has really struggled this year, just 10 and nine. But Bud Walton Arena is one of those special places. Eric Musselman has long been a great second half of the season coach. Hoping to get Trevon Mark back against the great Antonio Reeves and number six, Kentucky. That is two games away here on ESPN. Clemson Duke following us. I would just stay tuned uh, to the bottom line to yeah. see what channel that will start on because it won't be here. We're, we're a little behind in Tallahassee, but hey, that's okay because we got a great basketball game on our hands. Carolina down five and a half, leading by seven. We're trying to start 9-0 in ACC play for the first time in 23 years. Kentucky taking themselves into another tough environment. How about Lamont, Paris, and South Carolina? They win today, so they build on that upset in Columbia on Wednesday. 17-3 and three for Lamont, Paris's team at South Carolina. Huge, huge week for them. Might be a top 25 team come Monday, South Carolina. Should be. There's a tie up there. The arrow belongs to North Carolina. The possession arrow had not reset previously on the Class B technical foul. Kevin, now you know Leonard Hamilton doesn't like to play any zone. However, I did go to practice yesterday, and I'm not saying that they should play it, but he has it in his back pocket because the North Carolina guards are so downhill right now that they can't keep him in front. The Dolan Davis has scored 13 points for by to the second half. Ingram fouled. That'll be Watkins fourth with 11.26 to go. Florida State's leading scorer is one foul away from being out of this game. Two hard dribbles off two feet, play on the ball. Oh. Didn't look like there was much there. Judging by the replay here, the fans are just as stunned as Jameer Watkins is. The big screen inside the home court, such a great thing to listen to the fans. It's the great equalizer for the fans who are up in the upper deck. 
Like, should I get mad about that? And then you see it right in front of your faces. Yeah, the big screen is uh, filled with fury right now. They're zooming in on angry Florida State students. Ingram goes two for two. And Watkins out of the game. This is gut check time for Florida State. We got Cam Corum on the floor. Down by nine. In the game they led by five at the half. Miller fouled by Ingram. That's the sixth of the half against UNC. Ingram second. You know what, though? He's had a couple of picks up there, so it's worth the gamble, right? Maybe you give him one chance to, to make that play, see if you can make that play. RJ Davis with a game of high 17 gets a breather. Cormac Ryan returns. So no Davis or Baycott on the floor right now. Spears yet to score in the second half. Worley. Washington's got the rebound. See, Worley's not a three-point shooter in the corner, so it's a good pinch by North Carolina's D. Knowing personnel, you help on that drive and force that pass. Harrison Ingram's got a double-double again, by the way. So fourth time in the last five games for him. 11 points, 12 rebounds. He has been the best rebounder in ACC games in the league this year. 10.7 per game. Big reason why Carolina's one of the best rebounding teams in the country again. It's more than just Armando Baycott now. Cadeau with Miller on him. 10-inch height advantage here. Cadeau into the body of Miller who holds up. And Florida State will take it. You're a big in this system. You know it. You have to be able to switch out and guard smaller guards. And they think Baba Miller at 6'11 can really do that. No switch has been able to contain RJ or Elliott today. They have been fantastic in the middle third. Green. Especially in the second half, Kevin. Ingram's got another rebound, make it 13. UNC is plus eight in that category. Bryant. On the bounce, Cadeau. Make it Trimble. He misses a two. Miller's got the rebound for Florida State. Halfway through this second half, Ingram comes flying in. He has become one of the most exciting players in the ACC. His first year over from Stanford. Harrison Ingram, who does either a little or a lot of everything. He's been in double figures on the rebounding side five of the last seven games. Look at that rebounding number right there. 19 rebounds on January 10th. He's a McDonald's All-American. And his parents own McDonald's. Great story in the athletic on Harrison Ingram. Cadeau, by the way, thought he had a breakaway and got tagged with his third foul. That's the seventh against UNC. So everybody will be shooting free throws the rest of the way. And it's Darren Green Jr., who is surprisingly only a 69% foul shooter. And he misses the front end. Wow. Florida State is two for six at the line. Ryan found his way into Baycott, blocked by Miller. Back to Cormac Ryan, who will pull it out, 15 to shoot. Trying to break down Corum. Ryan still with a dribble. A whole lot of dribble for Cormac Ryan, and now Cadeau. Bring the big to get the switch you want. Oh, he gave it away to Ryan. Got to get a shot up, Cormac Lyon on the rim. I'm surprised Cadeau gave that up because he has taken Baba Miller off yeah. the bounce all second half. Especially that late the shot clock. Florida State working on a three minute plus scoring drought. North Carolina is about two and a half. He's pushing off. He's really using that right arm Miller. He got away with it and then Baycott cleans it up on the rim, taking it away from Worley. Trimble into Miller, Trimble no. Can anybody make a basket? There were stretches where it seemed like nobody could miss. Cora, there you go. Scoring drought is over, about three and a half minutes for Florida State. Cam Corum snaps it. There 
have been some strange segments in this basketball game. Ryan, good luck. Left it short. Rebound, Ingram, another one. Baycott will throw it to Ryan. He's confident. He's got his third three of the half. Good kick by Baycott. It's a great time to get one. North Carolina, eight threes made in the game. They are nearly at their game high lead. It was 11 in the first half. Spears, a pull-up three. Wow! That's a tough bucket. High hands on the closeout. That's a big triple. And he is streaky. He could get hot on both sides, offense and defense. It was six for 25 from three into the game. It's three for four today as Cadeau misses. Florida State looking to build on that last make. Get this to a two possession game and Ryan fouls Worley. Third foul on Cormac Ryan. Everybody's got three fouls. Florida State's got the ball down seven. When you share a hotel room with your kid, you also share a bedtime with your kid. But if you get an Airbnb, you get to pick your own bedtime. There's some things that work better together. together. Like your workplace benefits. And retirement savings. Voria helps you choose the right amounts without over or under investing. So you can feel confident in your financial choices. Voya, well planned, well invested, well protected. You're finally mastering grandma's 12 hour sauce. <sighs> your stove top gave out in the 11th hour. Luckily, American Home Shield is there to fix or replace covered appliances and home systems. Protect what you don't expect. Visit ahs.com and get a free quote today. At University of Maryland Global Campus, getting a bachelor's degree doesn't have to mean starting from scratch. Here, you can earn up to 90 undergraduate credits for relevant experience. What will your next success be? When you're great, your game does the talk. In the ACC, our speech volume. Three of the last eight NCAA championships. 99 NCAA tournament wins since 2015. Eight NCAA titles in the last 22 years. Six of the top 30 winningest programs in Division I, most of any kind. It's not bragging if it's true. Greatness is what we do. The ACC accomplished greatness. Can't sleep? Think about that embarrassing thing you did last week. Now repeat until sunrise. Wendy's breakfast two for three is so good, the crew is giving every combination code names. This squared. Egg and cheese biscuit and sausage biscuit. Two biscuits. I'm impressed Tyler knew what squaring was. Math knew it. No matter what you call it, choose wisely. Choose Wendy's breakfast two for three. Olive Garden's never ending first course. It's always on us. Because more of the good stuff means more of the best stuff. Did you guys remember career day last year? Elaine Hartzell came as a Hershey's taste tester. Well, I told Hershey about that. Seeing the way that Hershey's had made the dream come true has just really been exciting. Coming up on ESPN, Clemson and number 12, Duke. Clemson just 4 and 63 all time in Durham. They got a good team, though, and PJ Hall of the Tigers will look for an upset win. That will be on ESPN following this game. It'll be somewhere else soon on our family of networks. Sonic Blockbuster 6 Eastern Kentucky, Arkansas, LSU, and Alabama after that. What's at stake right here? UNC 9 0 in the ACC. It's been a cool 23 years. 23, a significant number for North Carolina since they reached that mark. Florida State hasn't beaten a top three team in five years, and Joel Denardi said Florida State is not quite in the bubble conversation yet, despite five quad one and two wins. With a win today, they will be in that conversation, but my goodness, Debbie, they are two for seven from the free throw line. So many missed opportunities in the half year for Florida State. 
Ingram. One of four Tar Heels in double figures, Harrison Ingram. And he turns it over with a travel. Got to relace up the shoes. I'm just thinking about that next game, too, with Clemson and Duke. P.J. Hall, number two in the league in scoring, just under 20 points a game. And Kyle Filipowski, number four in the league in scoring at 18 points a game. There's a couple of bigs that are going to be fun to watch in that one. And, of course, Carolina Duke one week from today. Clemson, along with North Carolina, the only two teams to beat Florida State in ACC play this year. Let them Hamilton Seminoles have won six of their last seven on the comeback trail here at home. Chandler Jackson into the body of Jalen Withers. Jackson puts it in, and he's three for three for seven points off the bench. Well, Florida State's got a lineup on the court right now that needs to speed the game up, but it's been tough keeping Elliott Cadeau in front. And here's the switch that he's taking advantage of downhill all second half. Cole Bowen's on him. Cole Bowen stays in front. Ryan Davis wanted the ball on top for a moment there. Ryan with Cole Bowen on him. Ryan gets around, Ryan pulls, Ryan leads it short, rebound Jackson. Florida State with four reserves on the floor with six and change to go. The only starter is Worley. Yeah, and the best scorer on the floor is Primo. Jackson into Davis, Jackson again, he puts it home. Chandler Jackson with a huge lift off the 7-0 bench. Really uses his body well to shield the defense. Davis on Ganey. Davis steps inside and banks it home. He is so crafty, so highly skilled. What an entertainment highlight reel he provides every night. Silencing what was an ear splitting sound. Here at the Tucker Center. Lead back to five. Spears. Step back on Ryan. No. Long rebound. Bulboa chasing it with Davis in the corner. It's off of Bulboa and ahead of the way in North Carolina. RJ Davis, the All American with a hustle right there. The step through. The lane is wide open. You'd think that at some point, Florida State would pinch and force those downhill driving guards to pass. But they've been getting to the rim all second half. Why haven't they done No that? help. Watkins back on the floor with the four fouls for Florida State. And Watkins immediately forces a turnover. Watkins, Paul Bowen, three. Chased down by Watkins, and Spears has it. It's Jackson, who has taken over of late, and... Jackson with a turnover. Florida State with its 12th turnover of the game. Bob Miller will check in now for Ganey as Leonard Hamilton puts together what... Might or might not be his closing five, but as deep as they go. Oh no, you're gonna go hard as hard as you can for a couple of minutes yeah. and he'll This probably out. won't be the best no, substitution for Leonard. This might be the five for Carolina though, the starters. Cadeau's misses, tipped in by Ingram. Right on the top of the rim. Was it in the cylinder or not is a question. The ruling a legal basket for a seven point lead. And then a foul against RJ Davis. We'll send Watkins to the line. Davis is third. It was out of the cylinder. Great Barely job so. by Harrison to find a lane to the rim. The offensive rebound. Another ridiculous day for Harrison Ingram. 13 and 16. For game day, they have the due to the day segment where you get a point for every point, rebound, assist, block, steal. Your Did anybody player pick has. Him? They should have because he's got 13, 16, one assist, and three steals. That'd be a 33 point afternoon already for Harrison Ingram. 
All right, Florida State two for seven at the line. This is a one on one for their second best free throw shooter. And Watkins puts in the first. And North Carolina's got to get the ball in bounds. You know, they're coming over for full pressure, pressure here. Watkins for the dozen. And when Baba Miller's in the game, they like him to be on the ball with that 6'11 frame, that length. Ryan can run after the make. And Ryan will get it to R.J. Davis. North Carolina in search of a 10th consecutive win and a 9-0 start to ACC play. Three for Davis. Miller, Baycott are there. Miller got to hit the face. Cadoa has an open jumper. Rebound Watkins. And play will be stopped after Baba Miller was hit up high. This is the under four break. And that play will be reviewed at the monitor during the break. A five point lead for UNC. A huge closing stretch in the ACC coming up. so long since I've seen you. You guys should come over and watch the game again this Sunday. We would love that. You said you didn't want to watch the game with them. What? No, I didn't, sweet. You said they never stopped talking. <laughs> Girl, I never said that. She just be making stuff up. We don't need to see the replay. Yeah, let's check it. This What Really Happened replay is brought to you by Progressive. One thing no one would challenge, saving money when you bundle home and auto with Progressive. See? <laughs> Where is that bus? From Maybelline, New York, Instant Eraser, our do-it-all concealer. Conceal, correct, highlight. Up to 12-hour moisturizing wear. Instant Eraser, Maybelline, New York. $5 duo at Burger King. Double up flavors when hunger dings. Whopper Junior and Royal Crispy Wraps for lunch, dinner, dinner, or late night snack. Be okay. have it your way. Celebrate the moment with Ferrero Rocher. Smooth chocolate, crunchy hazelnut, lovingly layered and wrapped in gold. You know, Doug, ever since switching to Workday, you've been a real rock star. Rock star? What do you know about rock stars? Don't really be idle. I mean, where's the skin tight leather? The shoes are leather, right? Where's the unnecessary zippers? That thing! Billy, Billy, rock star is just how Doug feels when he uses Workday. Thanks, Rory. I'll show you rock star. Be a finance and HR rock star. Workday for a changing world. Billy Idol just stole your golf cart. <laughs> well, you can't have a flagrant foul when your own teammate hits you accidentally on a play. Deontay Green was the one to hit Miller. <laughs> Accidental swipe across the face. So that play was reviewed, but uh, nothing to call here. It was teammate on teammate crime. But Florida State has the ball down five with 3.56 to go. Again, Florida State, they are an NCAA tournament caliber team. They don't have the resume because of a really poor non-conference. A win today over the nation's number three team. They're right back in the conversation and also a game off first in the ACC. Watkins in trouble, found Jackson. He misses a three. Ryan was a little late to close out though. And Jackson chased the ball down. Cormac Ryan is going to be called wow. for the foul. What a hustle play by Jackson. That's a tough one to go against North Carolina. It's a loose ball off the rim. It's his fourth foul, Cormac Ryan. Chandler Jackson scoreless in three of his last six games. Just three for 14 his last four games. And here he is off the bench with nine points, but yet again, a missed Florida State free throw. Watkins is four for five at the line. The rest of the Seminoles are now one for six. You got to cut hard to get open right here. They get two against three. Cadeau gets open, gets it back from Ryan. 
He's got Miller on him all the way down the floor. See if Cadeau will try to take it. Cadeau got to the right hand. No. Miller's got the rebound. Miller, the former guard who had a late growth spurt, takes it all the way down the court. Watkins. Oh, Watkins was on the sideline in an unforced turnover by Florida State. It's a tight spot over there in that corner, Kevin. There's only 17 panels over there. It's about three feet, four inches from the three-point line to the sideline. You know, I like working with you because you know there are 17 panels specifically on that side. You put in your hardwood research. I checked it out yesterday. When you have size 16 and a half shoes like Baba Miller, it really creeps up on you. Davis under three to play. Davis left it short. Davis keeps it alive. The All-American on the deck again. Ryan's got it for UNC. Amazing hustle by the heels. Ryan being absolutely hounded, and he will get a timeout. North Carolina's third. It's not just a scoring for R.J. Davis. It's all the little things, too, that are so emblematic of why North Carolina has turned the corner this season. So North Carolina leading by four here in Tallahassee, 70 to 66. Big day of ACC hoops. Don't forget Clemson and Duke, which is a game that was supposed to be on this network right now. It is going to be over on ESPN News. B.J. Hall and the Tigers, Kyle Filipowski and the Blue Devils. Joe Minardi has three ACC teams projected in the field right now. The end of January, North Carolina has one. Clemson and Duke are the other two. So that came on ESPN News, and we'll bring you to Cameron after the conclusion of this one here on ESPN. 12 to shoot. What does Hubert Davis want to do here? Well, you got to get the ball in bounds first. Good start. And then I'm looking for R.J. Davis driving downhill. I would just inbound it to R.J. if, if possible. Looks like Cadeau's going to get it there. Put Watkins on Davis. He's not near the ball. It's a steal for Spears. All the way home. He floats it in with a layup. And it's a two-point game. Primo Spears has had a couple of takeaways into breakaways. And now... Anderson Ingram stopped cutting to the ball and now allowed Primo Spears to jump the passing lane. Darren Green Jr. is going to check in for Chandler Jackson. And the top rises as one. Ryan the inbounder. They've had trouble with this several times during the game. Ryan gets it into Cadeau just in time. In the first half, they had a five-second, and North Carolina had to call two timeouts, not being able to inbound the ball. R.J. Davis, leading scorer in the ACC at 21 a game. Guarded by Deontay Green. A step back three, no good. Rebound Miller. Florida State can tie or take the lead. Miller, Spears, Watkins, Green, and Green. It's Watkins. Big height advantage. Watkins double team, stripped by Ingram. And it is Florida State ball with 12 to shoot. This is a better offensive lineup on the floor for Leonard Hamilton. And I like Darren Green in this situation right here. He hasn't gotten a bucket in a while, Green. 12 in the game. He's over in the right corner now. Miller back behind for Watkins. No, he missed it for the lead. Cadeau get gets it across the timeline with a minute 35 remaining. They're clearing it out for Cadeau. One of his best games as a collegian. Left-handed shot. Missed it. Rebound down to Spears. Minute 22 point game. Primo Spears will get it back to Green. Spears gets a screen from Deontay Green. Spears lost it out of bounds and it's last touch by Spears. That is the call. 
Lee Cassell waves the index finger for a review. Ooh, that's going to be close. That's off break on. Call on the floor is off Florida State. Baycott certainly touched it. The question will be, is there enough evidence to say that Spears' right hand wasn't on the ball simultaneously here? It may be a tough one to overturn, given how close those angles are. Yeah, that, that from that angle, that is really tough. Well, this game may come down to some forensic activity at the monitor. So this angle is a, a tough angle. You can't really tell from there. So a minute nine to go. Again, the call is out of bounds off Florida State. 70 to 68 North Carolina. Tar Heels are one for their last eight, 0 for their last six. They've turned it over 17 times to tie a season high. They are trying to hang on for dear life here and win their 10th game in a row. And right now the debate is, was this ball last off Spears or Baycott? And the officials have come to an adjudication and they're going to stick with the call. North Carolina ball with a minute nine to go. Keep in mind, North Carolina has one timeout left. They've got to get the ball inbound, so they have not elected to use any screening action down here to get open. They have just tried to cut into space. Leonard Hamilton's going to pull Miller off the ball here and have him help face guard Cadeau and Davis. Inbound to Davis. Watkins has four fouls. He'll pull off it. What an afternoon this has been in Tallahassee. And there's a minute left, at least. R.J. Davis is not going to give it up here. On the switch with Green. Davis with 19. Davis with a dribble. Davis with seven to shoot. Davis with a right-handed shot in the lane to make it a two-possession game. He wants the big moments. And he has earned the opportunity to take those shots. Right at his season average of exactly 21. Watkins spins, stuffed by Ingram. I think you got a foul. Have to. And it's going to be Green fouling Davis, the best free throw shooter in the ACC. Fourth foul on Deontay Green. That's a big time block by Ingram inside, and then Davis. You knew he wasn't giving it up, Kevin. He wants the ball in the big moment. Hubert Davis talks about R.J. Davis. They got the chemistry mix right, and R.J. Davis has been the man at the front of it all. Well, for North Carolina, you've got to locate Darren Green immediately. You cannot let him get free. Davis hits two more at the line. He's up to 23. It's a two-possession game only if those two are threes. North Carolina wants to keep in front and deny the three-point line. Spears will take it. Primo Spears. Need a couple of threes here. He's going to go for two. No foul. Miller misses the tip. Ingram wrestles the rebound. Ingram gets it to Davis, who is fouled with 19.2. And that is just about all she wrote. An impressive closing sequence by R.J. Davis in North Carolina as the Tar Heels look poised to start ACC play 9-0 for the first time in 23 years. On the road in this environment with the style of defense that Leonard Hamilton's team plays, they keep the pressure on for 40 minutes. And North Carolina countered. I thought they did a terrific job in the second half. Off the bounce, keeping the ball in the middle third, letting R.J. Davis and Elliott Cadeau set the tone. Now they have been a second-half team all year. 
outscoring, oh, there's an RJ Davis miss, outscoring ACC opponents by 11 points per game in second halves this year. Right now they're plus 12 in the second half. Green misses a three. Davis has it. Up ahead to Baycott. No need to foul. It's North Carolina's night. It always seems to be right now in the ACC. A 9-0 start for the Tar Heels, who take down Florida State in a really good basketball game in Tallahassee.